I'm here to talk about the stuff that are pissing me off. It's a new segment that I'm going to do on this channel, and today it's video games. Let's rewind the clock to 2023. I'm over here. Why? What? Let's rewind the clock to 2023. The game industry was booming, okay? We had hits like Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2. Did, God, did, did Ragnarok come out in 2023? I don't, I don't remember, but Alan Wake, the Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, I, I'm pretty sure that came out, right? Great year, a whole bunch of phenomenal indie games. It was a good year in gaming. Some would even say the best in a very long time, but then what happened? 16,000 people got laid off. 16,000 people got laid off. And the majority of these people, they weren't from small companies. These weren't companies who made bad games that no one bought. These were people from major corporations that made millions upon millions, if not billions last year. And they let people go. Why? Because of greed, you know, capitalism. But that's, I just want to open up with that one. And there's probably more layoffs coming. And it sucks. Because when you think about it, why are we laying off the people doing all the labor and not the people at the top who are making all the terrible choices in the first place, but whatever, what do I know? I'm just some guy, whatever. So the number one thing pissing me off about video games, the exploitation of workers. I don't rock with that. Now let's keep going. Cinematic trailers. I hate them. I hate them. I don't want cinematic traders what i want is gameplay footage that's what i want to see i want to see how does the game play how does it feel what's the vibe you're going for what are we trying to do that's what i want i don't want you to spend 20 million dollars on a really good cgi trailer and it tells me nothing about your game you're dumb you're wasting my time okay if we're at a video game award show i want to see gameplay I don't want to see pre-rendered footage of someone not even playing the game. I want to play the game. Give me the game. Live service, or as one of my heroes, Jim Stephanie Sterling likes to say, live service. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know what more to say about, about live service. The majority of them fail because the companies just want to make a bunch of money and not make the game better. I don't know if your game is going to be live service, you need to continually be improving the game. And a lot of y'all don't, a lot of you don't. And you know, this pissed me off. Hence the title of this video, game prices. I'm going to sound like an old man and I, I don't care back in my day. Okay. When I was a wee little lad, I remember video games being. 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And then I remember everyone getting pissed off when they went to 50 because there was no, there was no reason for that. And then they went to 60 and now some games are at $70. I don't like it. I'm going to be real with you. I think video game prices, especially for triple a games should have stopped at $40. That should have been the cutoff. I, I'm mad that I have to pay 50 to 60 sometimes for a new game, yet alone $70? Why? Why? No. What are we what are we increasing the prices for? We don't need to do that. Stop! Cut it out! Do you want people to be able to afford to play your games? Make them 40 bucks. And also, also, not every game needs to be full price. I would say most don't. I get GTA, I get whatever, another big game being full price, but I think most games, they could be 30, 40 bucks. There's no, I don't, what? Pre-ordering, 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 pre-ordering. I pre-ordered a game twice, <laughs> two times. I'm guilty of this myself. 
I've done it twice. The first game I ever pre-ordered was Dead Island. Remember that? Remember Dead Island? Yeah. There was like 10 of us at that midnight release. And I I remember why. Because that game, that game sucked. It sucked. The second time I did it, it was Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. I felt like that game was good. That time was worth it. Oh, third time. I did it for Skyrim. I pre-ordered Skyrim. But no. The... What I'm trying to say is don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're giving them all your money and you haven't even played the game yet. Like, I get it if it's like an early access, you wouldn't try it early, fine. But you're just pre-ordering, but if you're just pre-ordering a game that you can't play yet, why are we doing that? Don't, just, just wait. Wait for reviews for people that you trust and see what, you know, and see how that goes. Okay, I promise you, it's probably gonna work out fine. Maybe, maybe it won't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Games shouldn't be political. Leave politics out of games. I play games for escapism. Look, man, that's dumb. Just say you don't have any media literacy and and leave it. Leave it at that. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Everything's political. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the guy to tell you that. Everything's political. Okay, why do you think I got the rainbow flag back here? Because I want people to know where I stand on shit. Okay, everything's political. I'm sorry. Call of Duty, it's political. Halo, yeah. GTA, definitely. Red Dead Redemption, yeah, I'm sorry. It all is. Get over it. Get over it. If I, a leftist, can enjoy a Call of Duty game and it's weird pro imperialist capitalist like storyline and agenda you can enjoy a game that's got a gay character in it i feel like you can do that right we can we're adults right we're thinking people with brains that work we can we can do this okay okay and really when you say keep politics out of games you're, what you're really saying is keep the politics that i don't like out of my game okay grow up Grow up or maybe just learn more stuff i don't know maybe i don't know mm. nfts i'm not gonna have to spend too much time on this because for a lot of games uh they're not working and that's great because nfts were dumb they were always dumb they were i am proud to say i never invested a single cent in them i've gained no money and i've also not lost any money so i don't i don't have to say much on nfts i feel like i don't i don't steam my problem with Steam is y'all got games on Steam that have been there for like years and they're still full price. Why? Why? The game's been out seven years. Why is it still 50, 60 bucks? Why? Why is it the only time I can get that game? Is it when it's on at a winter sale, autumn sale, you know, all the damn sales that we all blow our fucking money on, but like, come, come on. Come on, man. Always online. Why do I have to always be online even when I just want to play a single player game? Why? Why is it that if my internet connection isn't working, I can't play any of the Rockstar games? That's dumb. Again, I'm, I'm dating myself. I remember a time we didn't have to be online. I remember a time where if the internet was out, you could still rely on your handy dandy PlayStation, your Nintendo, your Sega Genesis. I remember those days. And now you can't do that. You can't do it. You want to play something? Oh, sorry. Servers are down. Internet's down. Why? I'm playing Red Dead. Red I'm trying to play Red Dead Redemption 2, the story mode. Why do I need the internet? Why? I'm trying to play Baldur's Gate by myself. Why do I need the internet? I'm trying to play the single player game. Why do I need to be on the internet? I don't want to be on the internet. I just want to play my game. I just want to play my game. I just want to sit down, play the game the way I want to play it, which is by myself. And I got to be online for that? Get, get out of here with that. With that malarkey, with that bull stuff. I'm not doing it. No, I don't like it. 
game launchers. I'm going to be real with you. All of them suck except for like Steam's, I guess. Why has no one else figured out how to just do one like Steam? Everyone else's game launcher is the worst. Rockstar's, again, why do I have to be online to play a sing single player game and your launcher's always messing up? Ubisoft's always messing up. EA's, I don't use EA's that much. I only use it when I play like Mass Effect, you know, on my PC. But again, why does everyone and their mom have a launcher? It's stupid. I don't like them. Most of them don't work. Most of them, the reason why I'm unable to play the game I want to play is because your launcher, which is supposed to launch the game, isn't launching the game because it sucks. Failure to launch is what they should be called. They Failure to launchers is what it should be called because they suck. I, I hate them. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. As a PC gamer, nothing pisses me off more. A lot of things piss me off, but bad PC ports. What are we doing? Okay. I remember when Nier Automata came out. I love Nier Automata. One of my favorite games ever made. I am still working on that video. Well, I'm still in the script stages. Honestly, that's one of those games that's amazing despite its faults, but damn it. You know, it took them like five to six years to actually fix their bad PC port. And this isn't something that pissed me off. Larian Studios. Larian Studios. I bring them up, not because they piss me off, but because I'm mad at the fact that what they're doing with Baldur's Gate 3, their patches, their, you know, their fixes and whatnot. Why is this not standard practice? Why isn't it? Why do so many companies drop their game on PC and they don't care that people say it doesn't work. It's stuttering. I can't do anything. I'm looking at you, Square. Your Nier Automata port was bad. That Final Fantasy VII Remake port? Ass. It was ass. The Kingdom Hearts games? On PC? Ass. Why? Just fix it. You'll get more money. Don't you want money? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. This next one, this one's really, I'm just uh, gonna be just crapping on Red Dead Redemption 2, a game that I love, but that's a perfect example of a game that cares way too much about being realistic over fun gameplay. This part is called realism over gameplay. I think it's dumb. I play video games not for the realism, not for the physics, not because, oh my god, the water looks so good, oh my god, the, the god rays, the sun rays, the grass looks like I can touch it when I walk through, oh my god, you can, you can, you can smell the blood on the sword, I don't care, I don't care, is the game fun to play? Huh? Does your game, does it feel good to play, does it make me want to die when I play it, or does it make me want to choose life? That's what I care about. I don't care that in Red Dead Redemption 2, the horse's balls shrivel up when it's too cold out. I don't care. I don't care about shriveled balls. I want to know when I when I do the when I shoot people, you know, how's it feel? Luckily, it does feel good in Red Dead's part. But like what a lot of y'all are like, oh, it's so realistic. I don't care. I don't care. Is it fun to play? If it's not fun to play, I don't care how good it looks. I feel like we've reached a point where I feel like can games look any better? Let's let's focus on making the game fun. How about we think, can we make games more fun instead of can we make them look better? I'm I'm just saying. What happened to backwards compatibility? What happened to that? I remember being able to play PlayStation 1 games on the PS2. I remember that. I remember I remember when one of them Game Boys had the ones where you could put in old older games, right? And I feel like they're well, I don't I know, we all know, they're getting rid of backwards compatibility so they can either just remake the game so they can resell it to you or just 
port it to a new console so you buy that one instead of just letting me play the game that i already own on this system i i mean yeah we know why backwards compatibility is like non-existent for a lot of things because they want you to buy the game again like skyrim they want you to buy it 10 times they don't want you to just be like oh yeah you can play that version on this new thing no get it buy it no no it is nice that xbox they did say they were gonna be working on backwards compatibility you know for the next thing so that's cool i guess hopefully that won't be a pissing me off thing you know for another video i don't know this one is a big one and this one does not just pertain to video games it pertains to like a lot of media this one is not owning the things that you buy now if you've seen my channel before you know that i have a pretty nice anime collection right the reason i have this anime collection originally was just simply i wanted to buy the games i liked and to be able to just the games i wanted to buy the anime i liked and to just be able to watch it whenever i wanted right the big thing for me was if there's no you know there's no internet i can just watch my movies fine we've now gotten to a point to where at least with my anime a bunch of the ones i have they're not airing anywhere they're not licensed by anyone on any streaming service so the only way to watch them is to own it right remember evangelion i had evangelion for almost 10 years that that dvd collection that i own before it was put on like netflix like there was a good over 10 years where you couldn't watch it unless you found a way to do it illegally or you owned a copy of it we are now in a time for gaming i'm gonna bring it back to where you can buy a disc you can buy a copy on steam and it can just be removed and this is for movies music whatever you can buy it but they can just remove it and it's gone i don't like that i think it's terrible for preservation but also i just don't like the principle of i spent money on this and it can be, be taken from me whatever even though right i put out money like I think it's wild. Like, think about it. Whatever your favorite game is right now, there's a great chance in 10, 15, 20 years, it's just gonna be gone because they don't want to support it anymore, right? Everything is on a server now and those servers have to be supported by someone and when they no longer wanna put money towards it, it'll be gone. That game you like today, 10 to 15 years from now, it could just be wiped from history and the only way to play it is to like pirate it or something right and i think that's awful actually really awful and i don't like the idea of getting used to not owning the things that you buy i don't like that i don't like that it used to be you put a disc in you can play it that's not how it is anymore a lot of games today, even when you buy a physical copy of the game you like, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to play it forever, right? A lot of games now, you put it in the console, it's not reading the game from the disc, it's only reading the disc to make sure you have a legal copy of it, and then it's still playing it from a server somewhere else. So if that server ever goes down, that physical copy you have doesn't mean anything. You can't use it. I don't like that. I don't like it. It At this point, it feels like I'm just buying games and low-key throwing my money away because this game I have hundreds of hours in. This game that I've maybe spent, you know, a bunch of money on the DLC and everything. One day it won't mean anything and it'll just be gone. And I think that's an awful thought. Awful thought. I don't like it. Well, thank you for joining me on 
my video game edition of pissing me off. I want to have more of these. I will try to make a positive one called uh, Things I Like or something like that. I don't know. But right now, it's not that it's pissing me off. I've been gone for a minute, um, you know, life. But I'm trying to get back into being, you know, creative and whatnot. But yeah, so I'll see you guys for the next video. All right. You guys have a good old, good old day. Good ding dong doodly, doodly day now. You hear? Okay. All right. Bye.